What's up everybody? Mike KDC Mike TV. Back with another video. You guys see the title. I'm gonna be interviewing David Stevens today. I'm gonna call him in just one hot second. Just wanna make sure he's ready. And what you stand out from Red in Pennsylvania, so I'm be interviewing him on his upcoming fight, February 8th, which is Dusty Harrison's um undercard at Tyson's Playground. I'm going to be interviewing him in one second. Just trying to make sure he's ready. He had a damn good fight. I'm going to talk to him. Y'all going to hear him talk. You know he's a, a very good amateur. And y'all get all the information from him when I talk to him in one second. Just trying to get the green light from him. Those who want to know what I'm drinking, I'm drinking this little apple cider stuff. I don't drink any real alcohol, so yeah. I'm trying to make sure he's ready. And I've been actually keeping my eye up on him for a good little minute, but um, haven't had a chance to. I've been looking for his page for a minute, but I couldn't um. Find it. There you are. He's giving me the green light. But if you guys want to purchase one of these hoodies, man, DC Mike TV hoodies, one of my new colors I came out with about a month and a half ago. As you see, he's hugging the sleeves. If you guys want to buy one, you can buy one. Cash shop me, DC Mike TV. Um, store or cash shop, um, affordable man, high quality stuff, you know what I'm saying? 20 bucks, affordable shipping as well. So, you guys can follow me on Instagram, DC Mike TV, if you have not done so already. I'm about to give him a call real quick. <clears throat> Hey, what's going on, David? How you? I'm good, Archie. I'm good, brother. And we, we live right now, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. I'm right here talking to David Stevens, nicknamed Dynamite. He comes from Pennsylvania, amateur standout. He's won Olympic titles. He's won nationals. Uh, what was your amateur record, by the way? It was, I was... Sixty nine and nine. Six, okay, six ninety nine. Okay, he fought a lot of good guys, you guys, and um, he's actually gonna be fighting on a, um a card in the DMV area, of uh, February eighth uh, at the Tyson's Playground in Vienna, Virginia, which is about fifteen minutes west of Washington D.C., kind of southwest. So you know, what I'm saying for those who don't know about you, David, I'm saying, can you talk about your amateur background and um, you know, how many titles you won and you know things like that. Uh, I got like I got about like eight or seven national titles, like ringside, silver gloves, uh, junior Olympics, like two or three times, uh, U.S. nationals, and I I fought. i being on Team USA. I fought. I've been in a ring with other good pop amateurs, and I fought a, a few good ones too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You you cruise away as amateur, correct? Uh, yeah, heavyweight. Oh, you heavyweight as amateur? Yeah, not super heavyweight, so yeah, pretty heavyweight. <laughs> okay. So which is about, what, 100, 90, maybe 95? Uh, uh yeah, 201. 201, okay. So it's a cruiser, you know what I'm saying, amateur standout, y'all. What part of uh, PA, you, Pennsylvania, you from? Redding. Okay, Redding, Pennsylvania, okay. All right, all right. So he's from Redding, Pennsylvania, you guys, amateur standout, very good fighter. Very heavy-handed. 
Um, out of your out of your sixty, was it sixty five wins? Yeah. Out of your sixty five wins, how many knockouts you got? About ten, fifteen. Okay, okay, all right. Now, obviously, the the knockout percentage sounds low, but you've been fighting a lot of top guys in those sixty five wins, correct? Yeah. Are you guys gonna be looking forward to David Stevens, nicknamed Dynamite? Very good fighter. So, can you talk about your fight? Um, obviously, I don't know if you have an opponent yet, but February eighth, you'll be fighting with Dusty Harrison undercard. Um, I think he's gonna be promote, be promoting this one for the first time. Um, can you talk about that? Um, yeah, I, they haven't given me a name yet, but I'm gonna be promoting this one for the first time. Um, yeah, I, I, I felt good, you know. I felt good to be back in the ring, and uh, I mean, it never really matters, but I mean, not not right now. It's just getting ready and being in shape for whoever to play in front of me. Mm-hmm. For those who don't know, David Stevens is 2-0. and Now, your last fight, you fought on um, Jerron Anderson's undercard, right, when he fought uh, Serrano. Yeah, that, that was my first fight. Okay, that was your, okay, okay, okay. All right. So that that'll probably been your biggest stage to date, right? Yeah. Um, What was it like fighting on a card of that uh, magnitude? Uh, it was good, but it was it was like it was, it was real motivating because the way it, it wasn't packed the way it was during my fight to the way it was at the end when Boots was on the stage and it made me like realize you know this this is where it's at and that was going to be me made of that mm. crowd jumping for me full house mm. so it, it was good it was a good experience pro debut first round knock Stoppage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not to see all the stars. See Jared Heard. Yeah. Right, right. So, the fight on February 8th, will you still be a cruiser or are you going down to light heavy? Light heavy, wait. Light heavy? Okay. Alright. So, so this is going to be my first fight at light heavy. Okay. Alright, so, how, 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 how's training going right now? Right now, it's good. We're, Kind of picking it up now that like we're really locking on the date, cutting the weight, everything's going good. Mm-hmm. Now this will be your have a, a real good performance on the on the eighth. Mm-hmm. This will be your first time you never ever in your life fought in one seventy five, correct? No, okay. I fought one time a one seventy five at one seventy five when I was a uh, amateur. Uh, mm-hmm. From down there, Najee Lopez. Okay. All right. That was the only time I ever fought one seventy five. Hmm. Now, how, how, um, is it, is it? Do you think it's gonna be pretty easy? Now you're still young, obviously. What are you, twenty? Nineteen? Nineteen. No, okay, you're nineteen. You're still growing, so it should be pretty easy for you to get down to that weight and you know rehydrate up, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm bringing my power with me. Hmm. Mm. So. Obviously, who who you been sparring with for this particular camp? Uh, I I haven't got too many different people, but I've I've had some work with Jesse Hart. Cause, uh, his fight is this weekend, and mm-hmm. well, we're gonna do some more work in. Mm-hmm. But I, I have a I have a sparring partner in the city. He's a heavyweight, hard puncher, but we get some good work. Mm-hmm. Jesse Hart, another guy. I, I have to usually go to Philly for sparring. There's not really too much sparring around here for me. Okay. How far is Philly from uh, Pennsylvania? It's like a 40-minute drive. 40 to a minute to an hour. Oh, that's, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. So, obviously, Jesse Hall is another good guy. Great boxer. Super middleweight. Another great talent. I hate that. He's like heavyweight now. His uh, second fight will be today. Second fight like heavyweight. Oh, he, that's why he did go up the light heavyweight. That's, damn, he did go up the light heavyweight. You're correct. Gee. So um. It feels good to get a uh, work with him because he's on the contender list. Right, right. Those are all the guys that you know I'm on and out. Mm. Right. So obviously a lot of good fighters, you know, come out of you know Pennsylvania, Philly, and things like that. And obviously, your who's your biggest is Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's your biggest um inspiration, right? Yes. Mm. Mm. 
So, you know, for those who cool. don't know what you fight like, can you explain to the viewers out there that's listening and watching, you know, your fighting style and, you know, why is Mike Tyson is your inspiration? I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I'd say I'm a, I mean, I like to think in there, but I like to start get my heart punched in. The, the best way to find out is to come and see. Mm. No. February 8th. Um, I like to, I like to bring excitement mm. and take my opponent out. I'll fight for the knockout, mm. not, not to win, not just win. Mm. Everybody, I'm pretty sure a lot of boxing fans like knockouts. You th so you, th yeah. you threw a lot into that statement. You talked about you know punching power, and knocking guys out, and also you know thinking. How what percentage in your opinion does thinking? Um, how does that come into uh, boxing? How much does thinking play a role in, in boxing? It, it plays a real, it, it plays a real, a real good part. I mean, you know, when, when it comes to the thinker and the hard puncher, the thinker's gonna win. But I have both, and I'm, I'm only getting better and stronger with both. But Mm. You know, without a mind, without a mind, a hard puncher is nothing but a dummy. Mm, mm, mm. A beatable dummy. Mm. So you, so you look basically, you're looking for a knockout on February eighth. Now, for those who want to buy tickets that you know of, uh, how how much are tickets? Uh, I I don't know honestly. Okay. I just in a poster yesterday. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how much tickets are. Okay, all right. I'm actually talk to Dusty, you know, right after we finish, I can, you know, find out what the um ticket prices are. That way people, you know, can buy tickets for the fight. Now, do you know, uh, are you going to have some people come down from PA to come to Virginia? Yeah, I have some friends and family coming down. Okay. For me. I'm a little crowd. All right, all right. All right, all right. So, so what does... Uh, what do you like about Mike Tyson's style that made you um, be a fan of Mike? I, it, was, it wasn't really just his style, it was his story and just like how, you know, I don't know, Mike, Mike's just that guy, he, he's not even like, you know, pe people judge him for like the mistakes he's made and stuff after, after you know, people, how, how they treat him, but Mike's just a, a beast. He, honestly, it, I think if he would have never fell off, he'd be undefeated. Best heavyweight ever. Mm, make a good I like his, his, his power. Even though he was a brawler, he was a boxer at the same time. Like like I said, power and thinking, that was him. Mm, mm. Now you guys have a similar background. Obviously, Mike Tyson grew up in the streets. He used to, you know, beat people up, rob people, things of that nature. And you pretty much had a similar uh, background, right? Yeah, in some ways. I think it's a little bit. Mm. Mm. So how, how was... I straightened up with boxing. Mm. So how, how was boxing, um... I don't want to say saved your life, but how has boxing changed you? I mean, it just gave me, it, it gave me like, something to look forward to. A reason to not go to go, a reason to not go out and just be reckless. It was giving me, you know, a purpose, honestly. I, I didn't know what I wanted to do with myself. Mm. And ever since I chose boxing, it's been that exactly, like, nothing else. You know, it's little by little, I just, I gotta change my ways. Mm. Got away from that. Mm. I look back now and it's just stupid, childish shit. <laughs> but boxing had, boxing has had a great, a great impact on that. If it wasn't for boxing, I'd be lost. Mm. Wow. Wow. Obviously, you know, it's a lot of other fighters out there that have, you know, similar backgrounds to your story as far as, you know, getting into trouble and things like that and, you know, boxing, you know, turning their whole life around. So that's a, you know, that's a good story, man. I'm glad that, you know, boxing was able to, you know, help you out and, you know, keep you, you know, keep you on a straight and narrow. So, that, yeah. so that, that's what's up. So. Do you know where your fight ranks on this card? If you're in the middle or the beginning? Well, this, this, is, gonna be, this, this is gonna be my third fight, so it's probably it's probably gonna be one of the early ones. Okay. Hopefully, I mean, if, if I'm in the middle, I'm, 
No, I hope, hope the longer the better because the more people will see. Right. But, you know, I'm going to take care of business. Mm. So you, so you trying for are, are you training for a short night or are you training for now, is this four rounds or six rounds? Uh, four rounds. Four. Well, okay. I I'm pretty positive it's four rounds. Okay. But um, I'm saying, I'm, you know, you always train for the hardest. Right. But I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm visually, visually, I'm, I'm, I'm going in there and I'm knocking them out. But you always, I, you always train for the hardest, prepare for the worst. Hmm. Mm. What what what's your greatest asset? Obviously, you have power, but is that your greatest asset, or what's your greatest asset in your opinion? I've been told my athleticism, but I don't, I don't really like to speak on it. You know, I, I like I I'd rather let it speak for itself. Right. But I've been told my athleticism. Okay. All right, all right. All right you play any other? I, I, you know, I got great for that. I'm a, you know, I'm a dog. Hmm. Hmm. You got a lot of heart. Have Have you played any other sports growing up? Nah. When I was like getting in trouble and stuff, and like officers would like talk to me, they tried to recruit me for other sports. But at the time, I was still, you know, working on boxing, straightening up. So it was like, no. Mm. Mm. Who Who are some of your favorite boxers? Did you, Do you like? Whether they live in a day current or like of all time? Uh, of all time. Well, Tyson, Sugar Ray Leonard, Gennady Golovkin, Canelo. I don't know. I, I like a lot of boxers. I like Tank. Tank's a dog. Uh, um, I don't know. I like a lot of Gary Russell Jr. Mm -hmm. I, I like everybody, but those are like top guys in, in my record. What? What? Errol Smith Jr. too. Aerosmith, yeah, he's another good one. His power is mm. What What about older fighters? You watch some of the older ones from like the you know 60s, 50s, 40s, 30s? I don't know. As far back as I go, I mean, I like I like Joe Lewis. I don't know. There's always something about him I like. Mm. Mm. I mean, it, it, it's always sad to me when they, you know, when they go out all old and, you know, go out, retire, get retired instead of choose to retire, but. That's how it goes. But yeah, like Joe Lewis, I like him. He held the title for 12 years. Yeah. He was a beast. Quiet, quiet, but angry on him. So. Mm. Who's the best heavyweight of all times, in your opinion? Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, okay. So Mike Tyson beats Muhammad Ali? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Easy. <laughs> Say easy. Yeah. <laughs> he won't admit it though. He won't admit it though. Right. But you know, that's because he just you know. Yeah. Yep. Expects to go. I mean, he's still the goat, but Tyson is. So, you know, Tyson is just a Superman. Mm. Okay. Right. You ever met Mike Tyson? And if so, have you you know? No, nah, I've never met him. Okay. Mm. But that was like, I don't know, when I first, when I didn't really know anything about boxing, that like, that's all, that's all I watched. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I, th I think the first couple fighters I watched is probably like, um, Muhammad Ali, Joe Lewis, and Sugar Ray Robinson, and then yeah. Sugar Ray Leonard. Yeah. I, really, I really like Sugar Ray, too. He, he, I like him, you know, speed wise he, and just, I don't know, he's a, he's a beast too. Who, like the determination and will that like, like he has, he's consistent. Leonard or Robinson? Leonard or Robinson? Yeah. Uh, Leonard. Le okay. Alright. Yeah, Sugar Ray's another. No, uh, I like, uh, those, those are my guys. Tyson and Leonard. Those are, those are like my old, old school guys that mm. I really like them. Does uh, Sugar Ray Leonard? I don't know why does Sugar Ray Leonard beat? Does Sugar Ray Leonard beat Floyd Mayweather? Yeah. Well, is that you mean like Junior or is that? Uh, Junior. Ah. I don't know. I think he'll give Floyd something different. I, I think he might give Floyd something he ain't seen before, or ain't seen in a while. 
Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. All right. Uh, well, she, I let her to change her face just like Floyd. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we all remember. That, that's what he did in the Hearns fight. Change. He, he was being stalked and then turned into the stalker. So he can change it just like just like Floyd in the dress. Mm-hmm. You make a good point there. I want to get uh, one more question in, then I want to hold you too long. I'm going to let you go. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, Dusty Harrison taking on uh, Les Sheraton from Australia? You know, same card you fighting on main event. Um, you know, what do you think about that fight? I don't really know. I don't know. I don't really know about them. I, I've heard of Dusty. So, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not really familiar with him. But I've heard of him. And I've heard of Dusty. So, I Mm. Mm. So I, I kind of want to, you know, I'm expecting him to fight this Okay. All right. I'm going to get one more in. What are your thoughts on um tonight Clarissa Shields is going to be taking on um Hazabin, Havana Hazabin? Uh, what, what are your thoughts on that fight? Honestly, I, I, you know, I feel bad, but... When you ask my favorite boxes, I did not include the females. I like Clarissa Shields too. Not just as a boxer, but she's just like Ali. She's just she's just like she's just like Ali. Mm. But um Clarissa Shields and um Katie Taylor. But Clarissa Shields and Taylor's um she not heard this shit. Mm. Alright, alright. Alright, David, anything else you want the fans and the uh, viewers to know out there? About February eighth. Amen. For everybody that's gonna be there, you know, for sure. I'm putting somebody to sleep. Mm. Y'all heard it first from David Dynamite Stevens. He said he's gonna put somebody to sleep on February eighth. And I will talk to Dusty Harrison right after this call to find out how much ticket prices are and things like that. And you guys, you know, stay tuned for David. Dynamite Stevens, February 8th.